It was long odds to make it a century and a half in the brewing industry, but since they're here, the August Shell Brewing Company will spend the rest of 2010 celebrating the accomplishment. I don't very often think of what kind of accomplishment that is. I mean, obviously it wasn't all me, but um, you know, to go five generations, the same family, 150 years, never closed, never sold. Uh, it's pretty remarkable. Shell's just so happens to be the second oldest family brewery in the nation, but it took a change in strategy and a change in demand for the brewery to find its niche in the industry. A lot of Americans were traveling overseas and they were having German and Czech and English beers and were really interested by the variety of flavors and they came back to the United States and wondered why we couldn't have that same sort of variety here. We could see that you know if we were going to try to make American lagers or even light beers and try to compete with with the Anheuser Bushes and the Millers and so forth uh, we weren't going to be around very long. We developed a line of craft beers, really reminiscent of uh, old German style beers. In 1985, Shells rolled out a Pilsner and a Weiss beer, and everything really started to click. Things were going so well, in fact, they were ironically pulling off business decisions normally reserved for the big corporation. In 1969, when Hauenstein closed and the brands were no longer made locally, Grain Belt picked up the Hauenstein brand from New Ulm and brought it to Minneapolis. And then about 25 to 30 years later, a New Ulm brewery buys out Grain Belt. With the purchase of Grain Belt, Shells has come into unfamiliar territory. A brewery that reinvented itself with craft brews, now getting into the big time American lager market. A modern day David and Goliath story. All these massive breweries that ended up kind of drifting back and we ended up absorbing them. But that really gave us a chance to focus the shell side on the craft or all malt sides and the grain belt side as the American lager side. Shells currently has an output in the 80,000 barrel range. 40 different beers are brewed at their new home facility, a third of which are contract brews like the Trader Joe's brands that are sold nationwide. They've developed a flair for making tradition cool, complementing the fact that America's taste for beer is coming full circle. There's something special about having the local beer. And I think that we, in that sense, have gotten back to where we were 150 years ago when one of the ways in which you judged a community was by how flavorful the local beer was. If that's the criteria for evaluating Southern Minnesota, I'd say we're doing all right. Ryan Gustafson, News 12.